air leak the main sign and as we said is part of your daily round to check for air leak you will see bubble in the water seal I will show you in the uh, real drainage in it soon we will see bubbles here that means there is air coming into the water seal now the first rule of thumb never clamp chest tube if air leak because you will lead to tension pneumothorax now we may clamp it though for a second or two just to find out where is this air leak coming from if we don't know if we are evacuating pneumothorax and then that's probably the air still coming and bubbling in the water seal or if there is a bronchopleural fistula you know the air keeps coming uh, keep leaking from the alveoli into the system um, after surgery thoracic surgery you know all these things but you want to make sure also is the air coming from the tubing system the integrity of the tubing system is there a hole somewhere here or is the tube detached because as if there is a tube chest tube then attached to another tube then to this unit that's the reason we need to examine the integrated chest tube sometimes if you are pretty sure or you want to see if it's coming from the lungs you're not sure if it's coming from the lung or the tube that's when we can for a second not more or two seconds a clamp and say ch chest tube here if the air bubble resolve you know the integrity is intact and it's coming from the lung immediately declamp chest tube remember that and if you clamp it here and there is air bubble then the problem is down here so some people clamp every few centimeter to reach to find where is the area that causing the air leak remember you cannot clamp it more than a very brief second or two otherwise you will induce tension pneumothorax and if you're not sure you're not comfortable don't do it yourself and I still recommend as a resident or as a hospitalist if there is a thoracic surgeon or surgeon or pulmonologist who are managing this leave it to them even if we see air leak I still recommend let them handle that call them and let them either guide you what to do or let them handle it by themselves the last thing is you do something I just I'm explaining this for you that you know the stuff you know what they are doing and all of this in reality that's what I recommend let the person who put it in handle it or guide you how to handle it so that's how early remember rule of thumb do not clamp chest tube if there is early air leak rule of thumb for residents and even hospitals do not clamp chest tube without permission from the person who placed it and I recommend do not touch it let them handle that unless they guide us to do that this is the real chest tube the bubbles you will see it's the bubbles right here in this area see bubbling that means there is air leak and then you need to figure out figure this out where it's coming from thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.